All right, so this is this top card here. The top two cards here indicate the mindset both parties go into this relationship with. This is the body. This is how both parties see each other, how you represent yourself. And this gives us a bit of a background as to why you represent yourself the way you represent yourself as well as think the way you think when it comes to this relationship. This is the card that represents... Um, this is the card that tells us how you guys met or what, you know, how you guys, you know, came together or what brought you two together. And this is the challenge that you guys face. Ooh, that's a hard one. Underlying energy. Five of wands. Okay. And I can kind of get that too. You know, when it comes to, you know, getting some sort of balance here, like, yeah, like, it's going to, you're going to have to realize the inconsistencies and the imbalance in the situation before you can, you know, really get something going. You, before you can get a flow really, like, going between you and the other person. And it looks like there, you know, at the same time, there is this, there is this thing where somebody may have been doing too much or been handling too much and it's because they you know it could have been because they believe that they could handle it better that they just trust themselves with it more death is coming up here underneath the five of wands because it is indicating here that this is talking about there needing to be something released making space in the situation all right fam jumping right into this we already kind of get this feeling like yeah um It's just, yeah, there's just some, yeah, there's imbalance, definitely imbalance. And I think the situation is coming up to relieve a lot of that, you know, that, you know, need to take on so much or needing to do so much in the first place. Because if we started off now, typically guys, how I started off here, I'm going to show you guys again. I usually go on this side here. I usually go on this side here as you Virgo and the other person on this side, but feel free to, to change the sides. So we're starting off on your side or the other person's side here with justice. So they're already this person going into it thinking that there's, there's, there's a lot of imbalance in this relationship. There's a lot of stuff that's going on that needs to be sorted out, that needs to be equalized. Maybe somebody's doing too much, maybe someone's doing too little, but there is definitely an imbalance in the situation. And it's funny because what brought you guys together was because you guys did have some sort of, you know, you guys co coordinated together very well. There was a balance, you know, I think it, it could have been that you guys brought, you know, were brought together because there was imbalances in your lives that you need to take up or that you both needed to really work on, you know, you know, assessing for yourselves personally. Okay. It could have been that this whole relationship started from a very codependent place. Somebody was doing things for other people and got and gained validation from that. Right. And it looks like this is like. This is a situation where somebody is, you know, somebody did feel confident due to the fact of, you know, that, you know, due to the, to the fact that they were doing a lot of things in the relationship, that they were putting the most that they could into it. And it can get out of hand, especially if somebody's realizing that this is no longer what they want to do, right? Because then that other person's going to have to learn how to pick up that slack and they have no clue. Now, this person, on the other hand, start, is looking at this relationship with the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands does talk about, like, for instance, having fun, lighthearted energy, maybe starting something new, starting something in regards to um, something passionate, you know? So it's like this person on this side here is like... It's thinking of this as like something fun, something, you know, not to take very seriously. I'm kind of giving the vibes that the person going into this relationship is looking for new ways to bring up, to bring fun into this relationship because perhaps there's a lot of seriousness on one end, right? But if you look at the body portion of this, this person is showing the hangman. So this person is not really making a lot of steps, not making a lot of moves right now. And it looks like they're trying to see something from a different perspective or they're waiting for some sort of response. It's almost like this person has sent out some sort of message, though, because page one doesn't have to see the situation from a playful view or very youthful. They may be wanting to recapture that youth, but that doesn't mean that this person is seeing the situation as a, you know, something to play around with. And I feel like with the page of wands coming up here, it's more of like they offered some sort of they offered some sort of message or they gave some sort of message, um, or the, you know, they sent that out. Because if you look on, across from that, you see the four of pent four of cups, and the four of cups does talk about somebody. Either 
either receiving some sort of message and declining it or still trying to figure out what they're going to do with it. Because it's almost like this person is, you know, looking and comparing to the old stuff, comparing to the things that they've already experienced, comparing to the things that they've already been through with this individual. And they're trying to figure out what, what's going to be new from the situation. How is this going to bring me happiness? How is this going to, you know, inspire me to feel a different way? And I think it, the this person is honestly coming from a place of where they're expecting the outside stuff to change or to create or to raise some sort of, raise some sort of feeling that you know of something different but as you saw with that eight of cups with the four four pentacles you saw that the only way that you're going to be able to the only way for this person to be able to um to change or to have something new is to feel something new is by knowing what they truly deserve and trying to figure out what they want to feel in the first place so this person is having to make judgment calls trying to figure out where they stand where their truth is and i feel like this person is putting is being is in a place right now where they're yeah stuck because they're looking at everything they've experienced and trying to figure out you know how they can move forward from that you know how they can you know what? What's new? What else can you know could be you know felt and you know what their heart's desire is, what they want out of this relationship, what do they feel they deserve? You know, it's that kind of situation right now because this person is trying to figure out. Well, is this really what I want? I've already done this. I've already done that. It's like, well, what do you want to feel first? Because you're not gonna get anything else unless you change what you feel, unless you change what you're holding on to. Right? You gotta get outside the box. And I think that's one of the things that's gonna that's coming up right now. This person has got to get out of the box, okay? Because of that four of pentacles that we saw, and there may be just that they're holding on to a situation or the situation they're in that they feel comfortable and stable with is not providing them with what they want, so therefore they feel dissatisfied. But that is going, but that should encourage them or is really asking them to look in within themselves, because the only way anyone's going to be able to offer them anything interesting is by knowing what they want and knowing what they want to receive because if they don't know what they want to receive they can't get nothing you know what i mean so it's almost like this person has to know how to want something in order to have a balance in order for there to be a balance because i feel like this person probably is waiting for them to get some sort of information as to how they can help or how they can extend themselves what they need and this person has to figure out what they want in order to have that balance given because if they're always doing something because i think this person kind of makes demands or they not makes demands but they have requests they have desires they know what they want you know or they come from a place where you know they on a whim they know exactly what they want in that moment but this person may not you know always just doing something always helping always putting themselves out there and they may not always know what they want but that doesn't mean that this person is not putting in their you know putting in the 60 percent or the 50 percent that they need to put into this relationship because they may not know that the other person wants something and i kind of feel like with this reading is that this person kind of feels like they should already know they should already know exactly what this person wants, even if they haven't communicated it, which is honestly, again, that could cause the dynamic of the relationship to be even more difficult and hard to solve, especially when you have expectations of somebody reading your mind, you know, and I, I could kind of get that vibe, right? Because I think that's the way this person is coming into this relationship with the page of wands, the person with the page of wands, the person that's waiting on a message, they're coming into the, the reason why they're, you know, they're waiting like this and they have the page of wands and sitting out is because they're left in the dark. They have no idea what to do. They're confused. And honestly, I think that they're just, you know, they're kind of left kind of you know going along with their intuition to kind of just feeling things through because they're not quite sure of what is going on and how, why everything's kind of acting this way or how everything's turning out this way well the other person is showing up as the magician saying that they have all the tools and everything that they need to go ahead and begin something to manifest to have what they want they have and this person literally does it starts with them it starts with this person you know, the person has got to figure out what they want. Because the second you know what you want, you can manifest it. You can have it. It's gonna, It may take time. It may take a moment to really work out the flesh and flesh it out and, you know, work together in a cohesive fashion. But it's not necessarily about death making space. It's more about starting a new beginning by knowing, by making, by putting something in that space. By knowing what you want and going for it. 
Now, what's interesting to me is that the Seven of Swords is the challenge that you both face. Now, the, now the Seven of Swords and the Moon does indicate can indicate to me that someone's not telling the truth or they're hiding something. They're putting something in the back burner. They're not being honest. Okay, and I I don't know if this person is being you know it could be that this person may have secrets they may not be forthcoming about they're not actively lying to you but they're just or you're not actively lying to them they're just not being forthcoming with it and that could be the that could be the case um, the challenge is perhaps even taking a risk taking a leap of faith um, in a direction that may not definitely guarantee a a good turnout but finding something worth the risk to take in the first place. Okay. I feel like at the same time the seven of swords is the the challenge of, you know, of the dodging technique, of dodging situations, of avoiding something. Cuz I think the situation does bring up conflict, right? Everybody has their own views of how the situation is going, and even though this person may be feeling like it's growing and is moving in a great place, right? It's, it has potential for great growth with the page of wands here. They're still stuck in a situation where there's no growth, there's no movement, there's nothing. And while this person may be feeling like they have to figure out a better balance for them, and honestly, they may feel like they need an apology or they need the other person or even themselves to take accountability they don't really know at what area they need to you know you know where they want to go after that where what is this kind of doing for them right what does that get what do they get out of that if that if they do come to some conclusion and amend some situations that haven't been really ideal for either party you know and i feel like it's now no longer dodging the situation, no longer ignoring the signs. It's about perhaps recognizing what each party is doing and then working together to make a balance that works for everybody. It's interesting. What an interesting read this time uh, around, Virgo. I don't know which side you guys would be because it sounds like, you know, it sounds like it's a tough situation either round, right? Either, either way. But nobody is is at fault. Nobody deserves to be, you know, you know, condemned for anything or any action. I think everybody has a little bit of work that needs to be done, of course, right? But and it's just going to take it's going to take conflict. It's going to take time to you know to confront the problem because I think the challenge is is confronting the problem. Right? Both parties are having a hard time confronting the problem. If the person is like, "Hey, what do you want?" Okay. And not getting a response, being ignored because they feel like they already done everything. That's 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 both part. You know, that there needs to be conversations, further discussions on what needs to be done. Because some things are just you know not making sense. All right. Wow, make the sacrifice and death was what we saw earlier. Hopefully, I saw I showed you guys the card. Right, but make the sacrifice. Something needs to be let go of. Something, somebody needs to give up something of themselves in order for there to be progress. You know, in order for there to for anything to happen. So let's take a look at this card here. Make the sacrifice. You will not achieve the outcome you desire if you are unwilling to act upon your intentions. It is not as simple as wanting something to happen or believing that it will happen. You have to make it happen. And to make it happen requires that you be willing and ready to do whatever it is necessary, no matter the sacrifice. For everything you desire, you must give of yourself in return. And that's what the Seven of Swords is talking about, right? What risks are worth taking here? What risks do you believe that you can make to make this relationship work, to overcome the struggles, to overcome the addictions that you have? You have to break free from that place that we saw earlier, the Four of, Pe Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, they are one of the most contradictive cards. They're, they're both opposites. And the reason why I say it like that is because one is holding on to trying to stay where they are, and the Seven of Swords, it is being risky and going out of that comfort zone. It's leaving that comfort zone completely, not being in a comfortable place at all. And I think this is one of the situations. You guys may have to come out of a place where you guys are the most comfortable. You know, sl you know, lightly lend, you know, lending a hand, or not, you know, you know, you may have to see this. Pr you know, the hangman isn't just waiting; it's also seeing something from a different perspective, seeing something from a different angle. And I feel like, yes, perhaps this person is coming in with some sort of offer, or this person is seeing this relationship as something lighthearted and fun, and nothing really to take seriously, or they don't have responsibilities enough to take seriously. And I think that's where they need to change the focus. And honestly, the other person too has to make a sacrifice of communicating what they desire and what they need. 
you know what they need help with what they need assistance with what do they need in their in you know in their lives to help help make this manifestation of a beautiful relationship possible because one person doing it is not going to work one person putting in their 50 percent is you know is it going to work or doing 70 percent on top of someone who's 30 it's not going to work somebody's got to communicate and honestly until it's hashed out there's going to need to be putting you know uncomfort there's going to need to be hashing out details. There's going to need to be some things cleared up. Because one person is confused and being like, "Why well, I don't understand why everything's happening this way," and the other person is very clear why. But at the same time, there, they, you know, there is some sort of. They, I, I think they like to have all that control, and I don't really see a lot of control energy here. I don't really see a lot of control issues. Period. But there's something here that this person is not willing to let go of, or they're just not sure of. You know. Of, of relinquishing because you know I think they're just you're they're cool doing everything on their own you're fine with handling itself on their own but does that make you a happy person doing it on your own that's the biggest question and if not what needs to be done what do you want to feel how do you want to feel that way what needs to be done to make that happen but you got to make it happen 